Yo, this is Jay from Straight Smoke Gaming, and in today's video, we are bringing you a week two Thursday night sim. Uh, as you guys know, or maybe you don't know, this is kind of a staple here at Straight Smoke Gaming. We do a Thursday night sim here every single week um, of the NFL season, and we go over stuff like stats, who Madden thinks is going to win, and we also give our personal picks. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get into the picks. I picked the Eagles, Obi picks the Eagles, um, kind of an obvious pick here, you know, Eagles going in with win, Vikings coming into Philly off of a loss. It's just, it's not good for the Vikings. Um, I don't think they have as good of a team as the Eagles as well. When it comes to our records, last week, I was the only one who picked the Lions, so I'm starting off the season strong, 1-0. Ovi and Madden are down to 0-1, but hey, it's a long season, so they got plenty of time to overtake me and catch up to me, but I'm going to be holding on to that lead. Um, I want to have the best record. I really want to beat Madden because I don't think I have did that yet. So with that being said, let's go over some big um, inactives. And really, in going into this game, there was none that really stuck out to me. You know, Hertz is playing. Um, the main names on defense is playing. A.J. Brown, Smith are playing. Jefferson's playing. So all the big names really are playing. I don't really see any big inactives. Go ahead and comment down below if you've seen any big inactives that I'm missing. Um, with that being said, let's go ahead and go over the stats. So first, we're going to start off with Jalen Hurts. Uh, and his averages were all right, you know, 251 yards, one touchdown, zero interceptions. And I say all right because we know he is a dual threat quarterback. So if you're only going to throw for 251 yards, you're going to have to make up for it on the ground. And I think he's a quarterback that is going to be able to do that. So we will have to see um, how much of an impact Jalen Hurts' run game has on the game. When it comes to Kirk Cousins, on the other hand, he throws for 269 yards, two touchdowns, and zero interceptions. Now, if the Vikings are going to give themselves a chance, you need Kirk Cousins to put up numbers like that. He is not a mobile quarterback. He, you do not want to expect much from him on the ground. So if he's thrown for almost 272 touchdowns and not turning over the ball at all against the Eagles defense, I would like to assume that they're going to be in the game. Um, when it comes to the rushing game, I picked Kenneth Gainwell for the Eagles. As we know, it is um, it is a committee, but he did have the most touches, and it wasn't even close. I mean, it was him, Jalen Hurts, and then I think it was two other backs that had one rush attempt. So I think Kenneth Gainwell is by far the lead back, um, and his averages at the end of the sim were 48 yards and zero touchdowns. So, I mean... With the committee, 48 yards might be all right, depending if you're going to have some receiving work. Fantasy-wise, that's not good. But from what the Eagles are asking for him, I think that's pretty good for what Kenneth Gainwell is and what he contributes. Um, on the other side, you got Alexander Madison. He averages 45 yards and a touchdown. So the 45 yards, obviously, you'd like to see a little bit more from Alexander Madison. The touchdown score is great. But you also got to remember, this is a pass-heavy team um, that's featured with uh, Jefferson, Addison, Hawkinson. So, I mean, it is going to be pass-heavy. So, I do not look for Madison to put up, like, prime Dalvin Cook-type numbers just because that's not the identity of the team. Um, when it comes to receiving, we go ahead, we do the sim, and I mark down three receivers every game. And whoever's name comes up the most and... The way they get marked down is by being one of the three best receivers and when it comes to yards, receptions, averages, touchdowns. So with that being said, your three big receivers are going to want to watch for the Philadelphia Eagles. You got A.J. Brown with uh, six of seven big games, Devontae Smith with seven of seven big games, and Dallas Goddard with six of seven big games. So as we know here, really no running backs in the receiving game. Um, with those three guys, they're all on point, and Jalen Hurts is um, pretty, I don't want to say dominant, but relevant in the rushing game, I guess is the better word. They're going to, this is going to be a good game for them. And when it comes to the Vikings, you know, you got your basics with, um, Jefferson and Addison, Jefferson, seven of seven, uh, Jordan Addison, five of seven big games. And then you got KJ Osborne with five of seven big games. And, you know, TJ Hawkinson, he's always going to be one of, going to be a guy that you're going to want to think about when it comes to top names on the Vikings offense. But in the sim, um, it just seems like KJ Osborne was used more. And it makes sense. You know, they got the two good corners with Bradbury and Slay. So why not go to your third option with KJ Osborne? When it comes to Madden's pick, Madden is going to end up picking the Philadelphia Eagles winning five of seven big games with an average score of Philly 28, Minnesota Vikings 20. So 
They're saying it's going to be kind of close here. One score. Go ahead and comment down below. Let us know what you guys think. But as for this video, that's all we got. Um, if you enjoyed, please don't like and sub for more Madden, GTA, and Red Dead content. Make sure you come back. Check out the Zach Wilson video I'm going to be posting here later in the week. Um, with the Aaron Rodgers injury, we got Zach Wilson as the Jets quarterback. So I'm going to be making a video about that. See you in the next video. Bye, guys.